Just doing a little quick video about the Losi LST XXL 2E and the Habao Hyper MTE Sport. Uh, let's see if I can get both in the picture. They're roughly about the same size. I'm taking this on an old cell phone, so I apologize about the quality. Um, they're about the same size. About the only thing that I have done to the low C, if I can get that off, excuse the mess in the background, is put on the new uh, springs because everybody's saying that they're they ride better. It's kind of here and there. Uh, the of course I broke the wheelie bar which it's staying in place it's still doing its job so I'll leave it alone for right now um, and I've had to replace two of the tires that I broke them when I hit a tree um, the Habao Hyper uh, when I first got it I had to adjust the play a little bit so it was a little bit tighter and um, but those are all the original gears never had any issues out of, out of chipping them or killing the teeth or anything like that Just haven't messed with the motor all of my my bolts are still in I'm still tight um, this guy I've had since December of 2016 uh, I've had this guy since about February. I've actually, uh, I mean, they're two different beasts. I mean, this is your your beater, your basher, your, you know, you can do pretty much anything with it. Um, it's not the most controllable as far as racing is concerned. This is a little more controllable racing. It soaks up the bumps a little bit better. But, uh, you know. Uh, I like to run both of them about equal. Um, you see the body bodies are about the same, about just a little bit shorter. Um, but if you uh, go with the older body, it has these braces on there. Lasts a lot longer. Uh, my my original body is uh, pretty jacked up. Uh, this is the original body. I haven't really had to do a thing to it, I haven't had to brace it, I haven't had to, you know, do anything inside to brace it. The truck just is a little bit smoother to run. Handles, and like I said, it soaks up all the jumps and bumps. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving it alone for the most part besides the springs. Um, the bow, I've had to replace a turnbuckle. I've got two new tires that, that Habao sent to me because the old ones, the foams, went out. Um, I've replaced the dog bones because one, you know, they all bent on me and Habao sent those to me. I mean, they've got excellent customer service. Um, <clears throat> I've added the wheelie bar and I've added the front brace because people were talking about, you know, the frame will bend kind of like um, the old Savage used to. Um, but there's nothing else protecting the gears. Um, like I said, I've, I've had no issues out of them. Haven't had any issues out of the shocks. Haven't had any issues out of the uh, steering. Well, no, I take that back. The steering, I had to replace the, the bolt. In here they both kind of both of those two bolts kind of backed out while I was running one time um, you know of course one backed out put in a replacement the next thing I know the other one backs out uh, even though I thought it was tighter and this uh, shock mount bolt when I decided to uh, when the truck decided to cartwheel on me for a good 10 yards I found that shock was uh, coming loose, so, you know, 
whether it came out because of the shot, the, the cartwheel, or whether it cartwheel because the shot came loose. It's kind of here nor there. Can't prove it either way. Uh, I just finished running the truck, so i uh, still got some some passengers. I'll get that later. But uh, original diffs and all of them. Um, I did tighten the slipper clutch pretty much all the way. Um, and um, make sure that I have uh, you know throttle control when I'm landing or when it's going across you know big jumps or bounces or anything like that. Um, I did start to tear up that gear today. I got some um, that my slipper clutch started loosening up on me a little bit. So I uh, when I took it apart to tighten that up, I found some some bits of gears kind of but just adjusted the play or just the uh mesh of them a little bit more and got it going uh this guy just haven't had any problems with the gears haven't had you know i i can i can beat it i can it's taking the abuse um i've hit some pretty good sized rocks i've come down on some pretty good bad landings and this thing's taking it like a champ so, uh, you know, durability wise, the Habao got it, you know, um, just how it, how it jumps, how it rides, how it goes across bumps, Lulosi's got it. So, you know, I'm not going to say one's better than the other. Um, they're both fun to drive and, um, you know, both of them will take a beating. Uh, I do baby the Losi a little bit more than I do the Habao. Um, but it's just, it's kind of, if y'all remember the original Savages with the aluminum frames, the Savage 25 and, you know, stuff like that. You could beat the mess out of it. Um, the newer Savage X's and the Fluxes and stuff like that, uh, you kind of have to, they're still tough trucks, but you, you have to baby them a little bit more. Um, and that's kind of where I thought this one is. Um, now, I know, uh, I forgot his name, a uh, dude from Aussie Playground has used like a piece of Lexan and kind of made a gear cover to go over here. Lexan, kind of a plastic uh, leftover from a Coke bottle or something he did. Um, but I haven't seen a reason to take the time to do it. Um, you know, my gear, my my wires aren't getting close to my gears yet. I link up all my batteries so the connections are back here. And uh, so I have these pulled back. I used to have them strapped to the um, roll bar, but then they got with this new body um wasn't able to sit it there so the newer body kind of holds them tight and you see where it is kind of rubbing a little bit so i'll have to put some more insulation on those um the about i don't know if it was a plan deal or what but uh multiple people have said they had to reverse these two wires here um so I went ahead and did that. I could have, I could have reversed the, the throttle trim or reversed the throttle on the cert on the controller, but decided not to do it. Um, whether it makes a big deal or not, I don't know. I'm kind of wondering why they're not using this on off switch here, and why they put it kind of back here in the midst of everything, but. You know, either way, it still works. It can, I can still reach it with the body on. Um, Losi's gone, stayed with their classic, you know, on off switch here. Uh, and I know people are moving the battery tray up front and the motor back. Uh, I mean, the truck's pretty balanced in the air. It's not, I don't see why they're doing it, but, you know, I'm just a recreational use I'm not a racer I'm not a I don't have to change everything that I'm doing to the truck just to 
have fun. Um, the tires, uh, the tires have, have filled up well on these. They they seem pretty good as far as an all terrain anything goes. You know, in the in the yard, in the driveway, on in the road, they seem to be doing all right. So I'm not gonna mess with them. Uh, these guys, um, they're great altering, um, they do get more traction than the Losi. Good thing, bad thing, nah, it's up to you, you know, you decide. Um, body roll, you know, traction as far as flipping them in corners, stuff like that. I think that's just driver experience and user error if you take a turn too fast it doesn't matter what tires you have on it you're gonna roll um, it's a monster truck it's drive it like a monster truck don't drive it like a race car um, yeah so to each his own I haven't found a, a reason to swap out tires to anything else um, you know tires are expensive I've got four kids you know I can't just go spend money like I used to be able to when I was single, um, and I had 10 trucks, but, uh, you know, it's, it's still a good thing, and, you know, I like both trucks, um, overall, you're not gonna lose with either one of these, um, parts availability, I mean, this is, this is an older, the Losi is an old, older truck, um, their their parts are out there. If people are stocking them locally, it's less likely. About this this guy here, I guess this version is a newer truck. People are still somewhat getting parts for them. Uh, most of my parts I have to order straight from About. And uh, but you know sometimes they come from Taiwan and it takes you know a couple weeks to get in. Uh, Losi, they're from Horizon. Get them in a couple days, you know. So I mean that that is a big factor to some people, and um, you know, it kind of to each its own. You know, if you if you're playing like I do, which you know this is the first time I've run both trucks in a month, um, just because of my other priorities, I can wait a month. So I can wait a couple weeks to get parts for this guy. Um, like I said, I still have this guy here. I have a, um, uh, Traxxas Slash. Well, my daughter has a Traxxas Slash that I can run that whenever I, uh, you know, if something's wrong with these two, I, I've got things to do. I've got the internet. I've got a mountain bike. I've got all sorts of things to do. I can, I can wait. I, I, don't, I don't stress these out. Um, but some people can't do that. Um. Uh, there's, this truck is, is definitely tr tough. It's a beater. No one's nice. It's, it's kind of like your nice, elegant racer. You, you just, you know, it goes. It does what you want it to do. Um, I've hit, you know, if you look at my, my yard, I got some trees. Um, I got some things that roots that are, you know, pop up now and they weren't here last week or last time I ran. Um, so, you know, there's some oddball obstacles that you do end up hitting. Um, both of them are, you know, take, a, take them and, and go along with it. So, like I said, uh, both of these trucks are good trucks. I really can't recommend one over the other, but, uh, you yeah, know, they're, they're both great. Thanks for watching.